One of the top secrets of insane gymnast upper body strength is scapular stability and control. We can talk about basic exercises or advanced moves without the proper scapular stability and control, they would be impossible to do properly. If you want to be really strong, stay with me because the exercises shown in this video will be game changers. Scapular stability and control is an area that most people have never heard about, but if they have, they didn't spend enough attention and time on it. If that would be the case, we could see way more people doing proper chest-to-bar pull-ups and advanced skills. First, let's see the essentials you need to know. The scapula is a bone that forms the shoulder joint with the humerus and the clavicle. The scapulas are the connection points between your trunk and your arms. There are several muscles connected to each scapula. The proper scapula position is key in different upper body exercises for the most efficient muscle contractions and it affects your gains. And the lack of scapular stability is one of the most common reasons of improper technique and shoulder injuries. The shoulder blade is capable of six movements which are the following. Elevation, depression, adduction, abduction, upward rotation and downward rotation. These are important to know because in bodyweight training we usually refer to these movements when describing the techniques of certain upper body exercises. For example, in the starting position of the push-up, you need to depress and abduct your scapulas, which we also call as shoulder protraction. In the inverted rows, you need to depress and abduct your scapulas, that we also call as shoulder retraction. In the starting position of the dip, you need to depress the scapulas, and in the handstand, for example, you need to elevate them. This is why it's important to know these movements so you understand what you need to do and you understand the language. Before you start any upper body exercises, it's worth to practice these movements in isolation without any resistance so you introduce them to your nervous system. An effective way to do that is first, you just do shoulder shrugs in standing so you elevate and depress your scapulas and shoulders, then you round and arch your back, abduct and adduct your scapulas so protract and retract your shoulders. Like this, you can have a first impression of the scapula movements. The next step is to do the same with raising your arms in front of your body and do shoulder elevations and depressions, adductions and abductions. You should do the previous ones with depressed shoulders. If you can do these with confidence, you will be able to connect them into a circular movement forward and backward. Then you can do the same in kneeling support. This is a really good way to move around your scapulas as part of the warm-up. You can do the upward and downward rotations with switched S-shaped arm positions, which are also good for shoulder mobilization. So as you can see, the position of the scapula itself has the biggest role. With its movements, we can easily determine the movement of the shoulders. In gymnastics training, calisthenics or street workout, the most important movements are the elevation, depression, adduction, abduction and their combination. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, these scapula exercises have a two-in-one mobilization and stabilization effect. Thanks to the concentric and eccentric phases, we can move and strengthen these movements in the biggest possible range of motion between the upper and lower endpoints. As we do these exercises, the range of motion can increase as well as we become stronger. Thanks to this, even if you have tighter or looser hypermobile shoulders, the following exercises will be helpful in both cases since they will mobilize and stabilize at the same time. There are some specific modifications to each case that I'll tell you where it's applicable. And now, let's see the most effective gymnast scapula preparation exercises. The first exercise is the scapula push-up. In this exercise, you need to do active scapula abduction and passive scapula adduction with depressed shoulders, locked elbows, tight core and posterior pelvic tilt. This exercise strengthens your shoulders and stabilizes your scapulas perfectly for the scapula movements during any push-up variation or pushing exercise in the horizontal plane. Not to mention that the upper end point of the scapula push-up is the key, the first step for the planche, since there you have to maintain depressed and abducted scapulas too. It's important to do the scapula push-ups in the biggest possible range of motion without over-rounding your back and hold the upper and lower end points for 1-2 to two seconds. Do 10 to 15 reps and 10 to 30 seconds hold in the upper end point. The next movement is the scapula adduction, which will be the antagonist of the previous exercise. This will be useful for many pulling exercises from the inverted rows through the pull-ups to the advanced moves. 
You can do scapular adductions in several ways without any equipment on the ground, in hanging, with bar or rings, or with an elastic band. On the ground, you can start with keeping your hips close to the floor. This execution is a great option for those who have limited shoulder extension mobility. Do scapular depression, then adduction with locked elbows. You can connect these two movements into one if you feel comfortable with it. If your shoulder mobility lets you, you can raise your hips and do the exercise like that. Hold the upper and lower endpoints for 1-2 to two seconds. Do 10-15 to 15 reps with 10-30 to 30 seconds hold that you can do even in a real push-up position and hit more at once. With the rings, you can do the real antagonist movement of the scapula push-up in hanging where you need to be in the same position as in the inverted rows. Pay attention to the straight arms and tight core, depress and adduct your scapulas like this and bring your shoulders into retraction. You can change the intensity with changing the body position, the deeper you go, the harder the exercise is. Do 10 to 15 reps as well with holding the upper and lower endpoints for 1 to 2 seconds and the last rep for 10 to 30 seconds on the top. Another great way to strengthen the scapular adduction is with elastic band. Pull the elastic band with straight arms from the front of your body to the side, adducting the scapulas while keeping them depressed. Depending on the strength of the elastic band, do 15 to 30 reps. The next exercise is the scapula depressions in support, which will help you in deep variations and several ring support exercises. This exercise is simple. In the beginning, you can do it with leg assistance on parallettes, then on P-bars without leg support. You need to do controlled, active scapula depressions and passive elevations with locked elbows and tight core. During the entire exercise, it's important to keep your body and arms in line. Make sure to hold the upper and lower endpoints for 1 to 2 seconds. Do 10 to 15 reps and 10 to 30 seconds hold. The next exercise is the scapula depressions in hanging, which isn't only a crucial exercise for the proper pull-ups, but it's also great for improving your grip strength. Here, you need to do controlled scapula depressions from passive hang without bending your arms and keeping the vertical body position, like if you would have glass walls in front and behind you. Don't worry about being in passive hang. Hanging is not bad for your elbows, wrists or shoulders. Actually, it's quite the opposite. It really helps to decompress and relieve the joints, not to mention the spine. Here, I need to mention that the passive hang will be best for people with tight upper body and shoulders. It can help a lot to loosen the area, restructure the shoulders and fix shoulder pain. The passive hang is a natural position that many people forgot to do, that's why their nervous system reacts with discomfort in the beginning. You can start doing it with leg support and increase the intensity as your grip and muscles get used to it. People with loose shoulders will benefit a lot from active hang, they will gain strength and get toned with that. Back to the reps, it's important to do this exercise in a decent range of motion because you can have more control and muscle activation to improve your pull-ups and any pulling exercise in the vertical plane, even if it's a regular pull-up or the muscle-up. With only this exercise, you can fix one of the most common mistakes that people do, not doing the pull-ups in full range of motion, which is one of the most important reasons why they can't learn the muscle-up. For future reference, it's good to note that there are advanced variations of the scapular depressions in hanging, such as the one-arm depressions or the so-called scapula pulls, which I already made a video about. This exercise helps your pull-ups as well if you want to do them with perfect implementation in full range of motion to touch the bar with your chest, this movement is really beneficial. An example of the scapular movement from the advanced moves is the front lever. There, you need to strive for the depressed and deductive scapulas even if it's mostly impossible to maintain because of the unbeneficial mechanical position. After all these, you can see why learning and strengthening the scapula movements are essential and with these exercises, you can unlock your potential and build insane upper body strength like gymnasts have. Thanks to these exercises, you have a much easier time with the basics, not to mention the progressions of the advanced skills, since there, these movements are usually the missing links. As I mentioned, the other big secret of the insane gymnast strength is core strength, which I already talked about on the channel. If you want to focus on these two areas, click the link below and download the Gymnastics Method app in the App Store or Google Play Store and start a free 4-week intro course now. But if you want to get started with the full system, with a full body joint preparation program, become a member and get full access to all the programs, tutorials, series and much more. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up 
and subscribe for more. If you haven't watched my videos about core strength, check them out on the screen now.